Hey peeps and everybody at Two Pack the Wrapping Parrot YouTube channel. We are coming at you today with a review that we promised a while back for the Morning Birds Avian Calming Formula, which um, as many of you know, when Avatech went out of business, there were a couple of companies ready to step up and make sure the formula was able to stay on the market. So this is the same sort of L-theanine powder-based formula for birds, uh, very similar to Avatech. We've been using it for a few months and trying it in various ways so that we could do this review for you all. And we are gonna have Fly Honey help test some of these so you guys can see that even a cockatoo who might be a bit of a picky eater, you can find a way to make this work. So, first things first. This is an, the old Avacom formula. I'm gonna show the label information for you all so that you can compare it. The dosing is very similar. It comes with an adorable little cup thingy. We have replaced ours with a pink spoon because we always end up losing those cup thingies, but we use that for, we use those for everything. They're bird toys, they're crafty things. Okay, so let's see if we can get Fly Honey to come up here on her new display trolley that Grandpa built for us. Thank you, Grandpa. And um, test some of these treats out. With a with a I have to get used to saying Morning Birds Avian Calming Formula. I think I'm just gonna call it Avian Calm or Morning Birds. Let's just go with Morning Birds. They have a lot of other products, but for, for the rest of this, that's what we'll use. Okay, peeps, we are going to continue our avian calming by Morning Birds review while Fly Honey demos one of the many creative uses for this product. So what we do, and I've explained this in other videos, is get their favorite nut butter. This is an orchid. Yeah, I can't talk today. This is an organic almond butter. We mix them in here and then we just keep these in containers in the fridge so that we can put it on new foods we want them to try. We can put it all up on a spoon like this, which also then becomes a chew toy afterwards. In a pinch, your almond butter is gonna be almost universally loved by most of your parrots at home. We obviously need to get more. Um, this is one of the almond butters that we have. We have a whole bunch now. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure whatever almond butters you use have as little sugar as possible. We don't like a whole lot of added stuff. We're dealing with um, shopping from new places so we're kind of in the process of trying some new things um okay next up is yet another awesome creative use to get the avian calm into your birds there we go now you guys can see her eating her treat pack with her little bit of Avacom, Avian Calm. Okay, so we've got Fly Honey here, eating one of her little foraging packs that has some Wolfman seed, some pumpkin seed, a few bits of almonds, and some of the Morning Birds Avian Calming sprinkled in really great way to get your birds to get some of this in them if they don't want to eat 
anything other than seeds or you know if they got like one food that they'll eat um, use this and if you can't put it on that food put it on almond butter and put it in there is that yummy that's good stuff huh princess she's still getting used to her new trolley yes we thought this would be a great way, though, when we do little product reviews, that she can have a place where she has some toys and some treats. So the other thing that you guys have seen us use this for is when we made our banana oat bird turd lollipops, which um, once you bake them in the oven, they're kind of hard like cookies and um, we put a little bit of Avacom. We'll put the links in the description to the last two recipes that we've put the Avian Calm in. This is one of them and she loves these. She's not getting one of these right now though because she just had a treat with a little bit on and that little teeny bit of almond butter. We like to be, you know, careful that we don't give her too much. Normally for her size, I think it's like, let's see, one quarter to one half teaspoon for larger birds. So these pellets are going to be for the boys for tomorrow. Getting them mixed up. And she'll get hers tonight in her treats. And then we also have the tea that we made up earlier with the new fruit juice recipe that I tried. So this is her fancy chamomile tea in grandma's teacup and a little bit of the fruit water that we put in here that really doesn't have much fruit or anything. It gives it a teeny bit of flavor. We wanna keep sugars really low. Um, she's been kind of picky about this particular brand of chamomile. We usually use a different brand, but like I said, we're like shopping at a different place right now. So we're trying to figure out new brands for some of the stuff we use a lot. So we'll see later on tonight um, if she will try some of this. We keep this right next to our couch or right here on this trolley next to our couch. So when we're just Netflix and chilling and she gets thirsty we've got something right there and that's usually right around the time that we're getting ready to transition her into like quiet time for bedtime was that good that was good stuff yeah all right you even finished your treats oh you made a mess too you have a dinosaur over here you could come play with that so your fans could still see you <laughs> yeah so continuing our avian calming formula review by morning birds um i definitely want to show as many little easy quick ways that you can get this into your birds diet if they're picky reluctant um you know we had to try so many things before we found some stuff that works they generally like the flavor though, so that's a good thing. So one of the ways that we do this is we make a chamomile tea for fly honey for her calming. Um, you know, when we're just doing like couch time, cuddling with Netflix before bed, um, and we're, you know, she's done her activity stuff, we're winding down. So what we're gonna try to do, because sometimes she likes the chamomile tea, sometimes she doesn't, we are gonna make a healthy juice for her. This is just distilled water with a teeny bit of strawberries and blueberries for antioxidants. And then down here, we have her two favorite butternut squash and sweet potatoes, which uh, cockatoos really love. So basically, you can put a spoonful. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to set the camera down. I should have made sure this was open. Bear with me. Okay. 
So this usually comes with a little scoop that measures out the right dose based on your bird's needs. For a bigger bird, we would say like, like a cockatoo or a macaw, I would keep one dose to that. So one of the ways we utilize this is you can sprinkle it in their mash. We try to sprinkle it on the top and then we mix it very, very lightly so their first few bites they get it. So this other method here, hold on just a second. This other method is something, something new we're gonna try today of making her a very, very light juice. Birds often like juice. We don't give her a lot of fruit. So it's just a teeny bit. This batch is gonna last a week. So um, if that makes sense, we'll be mixing it in with her nighttime tea so that she drinks her tea. Um, you know, we're just trying to make the tea a little bit better for her um, flavor-wise. Um, she, she will drink it, but not always. Like last night, we got her to take two sips and that was it. Um, other night she likes it. I don't know if she likes the new brand we use. We usually use Biggs or the Stash Chamomile Tea and you should brew it up normally. So what we're going to do, I'm going to add two doses in here to start with. And we are just going to Magic Bullet Blender this. Have a nice juice that we can then add to her tea. Okay, so we're back. We've got this is her chamomile tea. This is her special tea cup. This was grandma's, and we let her use it so she can feel fancy and um, it makes her for for our birds' needs. You know, you're gonna have to figure it out for your birds, but for our birds' needs, she likes fancy stuff. She likes girly girl stuff. She likes playing with makeup brushes, you know, fancy teacups, tea parties. So we try to give her that experience with her chamomile tea that we put the avian calm in. So we are just going to can just put little amounts in here with her tea. It's got the Ava Calm in it. Her tea has a little bit of Ava Calm in it. We put her tea in. We keep old bottles that haven't been drank out of by a human. Like this, I usually pour into bigger bottles. So we keep these and we reuse them when we make up her tea and we make up enough for three or four days. You know, we make up like a cup or two pour it in here, keep it in the fridge with the Avacol mixed in. So we're gonna do the same thing with this juice. And we're just gonna try different combinations of these two in her fancy cup and, you know, see, see if she'll take to it a little bit better with this. So one of the things with cockatoos is what worked for them last week may not work this week. They're smart, they learn, they get bored with things. You have to change toys up. You have to change up, you know, the shows they like to watch with her, you know, we change up her dance training a little bit here and there. Um, you know, some nights we just let her do some fun hip hop stuff. Other times it's working on ballet technique. Oh, by the way, update on that. She is like, you guys all know she can do an arabesque and she does pretty well on her own, but we have now got her doing it with like actual proper technique and she has been so proud this week that she nailed it on one side she can do it with her left leg we're still working with her right leg um, to get it to the same so they look the same on both sides she's every dancer always has one side that's a little wonky or less coordinated so for her her right side um, we've been working on her arabesque on that side but we hope to show you guys really soon how well she's doing with that so Okay, let's try mixing this juice in. Okay, so I just tasted this. This is very, very lightly flavored. 
add a little bit in there. We'll see what she thinks of this tonight. Uh, you know, we can always try different, different fruits and veggies for making her a light juice. I tasted it. It doesn't really have much flavor because we used very little fruit and veggies with a lot of water, but it does have a really nice little, it's like a pleasant water. So hopefully she'll like it. And we always try to keep sugar down for her. So that's important for cockatoos, you guys. They're, they're prone to yeast problems. Um, you know, people have been talking more and more about, you know, it used to be push those fruits and veggies. And now we're finding out that like for certain birds, too many leafy greens isn't good for them. With certain birds, well, for most birds, too much sugar, even in fruit, can be not a good thing. So she gets it, you know, maybe twice a week. Um, but if this is a way that we can do this where it's not really very much, it's more just a little bit of flavor. Um, we'll see how that goes. The other interesting thing is going to be to see... Um, you know, because sugar will make a bird hyper like they will with kids. Like, will she still be calmed down with this mix of chamomile and, you know, fruit flavored water and a little bit of Ava Calm? You know, will it work? We'll find out. So we got fly honey, two pack, little homie, and this is something we do. This is just some, a few chopped pistachios. You know, the boys can't resist that, so we sprinkle a bit of that in their mash. If you've got reluctant eaters, fly honey doesn't like pistachios, but we'll give her little teeny bit to try. All right, let's see what they think of it. And there she goes. Is that good? Is that got your favorites? Like you want you want your fishies. Okay, let's eat our dinner first. Then you can play with your fish tank. So we got dinner. Mm. I put some pistachios in here for you, along with your Asian colony. Now be nice and don't hog it all from Chewy, okay? <laughs> He's our picky one. And even, look at, he's just mowing that down. So yeah, you got them struggling with mash. They won't eat it. Put a few of their favorite things in there. Little homie likes corn a lot. He likes fruity things. He likes crunchy things. So we, you know, sprinkle a few chopped nuts on top. Put his corn in there sprinkle some of the morning birds avian calm on it and he loves it good job buddy super proud of you guys all right we're gonna let them eat their dinner enjoy okay peeps thanks for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe share videos help us get our analytics up we love you Bye-bye.